So my name is Olivia, I'm British, um, which you can tell, yep, thank you. They get enthusiastic when you're abroad, when you're at home and you say, who's British in the house? Everyone's like... So I'm a French and English literature graduate. I was always into debating and public speaking when I was at school. And I came to Paris as part of my studies. I was writing my blog then and also writing for a women's magazine. And I've been working for the past year at HEC Paris, uh, which is France's biggest business school, teaching stand-up comedy to consulting and marketing students. About presentation, about delivery, but I also teach them about the more human side of things, which is why I think that stand-up comedy is so important in a business context. You know, it makes everyone a bit more human and personable. And that's what we're looking for ultimately in the best bosses throughout the world. So I really hope that by teaching these students something that I've managed to incorporate into a career, as well as very much enjoying in my spare time, that they'll be able to not only enjoy learning English through a comedy setting, but also be able to take what's at the heart of comedy away with them, which is relating to people, understanding what makes people tick, and ultimately having a relationship with people that you might not necessarily know that well. I knew that one of the other teachers was teaching a comedy course at HEC, and I thought that my own experience having performed in Paris as a stand-up comedian might be useful in that respect. So I went into those lessons and I taught the students how to not only perform but to present, to be able to write things in a concise manner that would get their opinions and expressions across in the most succinct way possible. But moreover, I really wanted to teach them how to be comfortable with people that they don't know, which I think is a transferable skill, whether you're a comedian or whether you're just someone presenting to a board, even whether you're just a mother speaking to her own children. At any one point in our lives, we have to present. And so it was really this sense of being comfortable in front of other people that I really wanted to pass on to my students. I've worked with a lot of people from different backgrounds and when I look at the successful people that I've worked with they definitely have one thing in common which is that they are personable human people. It's been a very interesting time at Ashesse when I first said okay class we're gonna do some comedy today. Nobody knew what that was. Um, that's largely because in Paris stand-up comedy is very underground. It's nowhere near as big as it is in the UK. So I had to really teach them from square one what that means. The, the most interesting thing I think that has happened though throughout the course of the year is watching those students blossom. Watching them go from being self-conscious, watching them go from being nervous to speak in front of their peers in a class to performing two minutes of their own written jokes in English, which you know for French students is a massive achievement. I performed once in French, it was awful, it was really terrible um, because they didn't understand me frankly but it was an experience for me because I learned that no matter how bad things get I can still grow after that. It gives me a lot of pleasure to think not only have I been able to use something that I previously enjoyed as a hobby as part of my career but also that I might be able to shape the minds of young people who are going to go forth into conference and make them more human at their core because of the laughs that they've had with me at Ashusi. My mum always said, which I think is very useful, that you can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> Basically, it sounds a bit morbid, but I think that's really important in the sense that you seize every opportunity and don't rest until you've taken every single available situation to your advantage. In terms of comedy, my biggest inspiration is Eddie Azard, not only because I very much admire the way that he combines silliness with intelligence, but also because he's a massively ambitious individual. He manages to tap into the general social zeitgeist over time and I really admire the way that he is able to do that with such humility and such insight and it's really that kind of um, you know general kind of consensus and, and what makes most people laugh that I really try and bring into my own comedy. Whoever you are 
the best approach that anyone can take is to just keep going because the road is endless if you just keep moving. So my advice to anyone who wants to do stand-up comedy is the same advice I would give to anyone who wants to do well in their life, which is half of the fear of doing anything is in your mind. I always say to new comics, half the battle is just standing on the stage. If you want to be successful in terms of being a person who is loved and admired and inspires other people, you need to first learn how to open up and talk to other people. And so, yeah, that's why I feel that the skills I'm teaching my students, which is to listen to other people, to be able to take advice, to present yourself without fear in front of other people, all of these things will make them not only successful in their careers, but will make them successful as people. Whatever it is in your life, seize the opportunities because you don't know when they're going to come around again. And have faith in yourself. I think of all the messages that I've taught my students and just people that I know, I really want that to come across the most. If you have faith in yourself, I really believe that you can do anything. <laughs> My phone! <laughs> the board, pretty! <laughs>